Hi guys, I want us to go through the process of coming up with a calculation or performing calculations in Microsoft Access tables. Therefore, this is supported by Microsoft Office 2010 and above. Therefore, you just go to create, then table design. Then when we are in the table design, we shall create a table with a product. We can talk about ID then product product then we shall have the quantity purchased quantity purchased then we shall have the price the price of then then amount paid that is the amount amount paid amount paid the amount paid is the total or this one multiplied by this one therefore for that case we shall have outer number you can just create this as a primary key then product quantity this is number price this can be currency then this one we just select and go to this point here calculated field therefore you click on calculated field then the expression builder uh, will come up then for the text or for the feed names you encross them with a square bracket therefore it just come to this point and type quantity multiplied by multiplied by price therefore multiplied by price that way that way then once you are done you just hit on ok therefore you will notice that this field is calculated it is actually calculating these two Therefore, after doing that, save your table. If our table, you can just call it products that way. Then after doing that, you can just right click here and cross it. Then this is our table. This is our table, ladies and gentlemen. We have uh, these ones. Therefore, you can just copy some data from, that is, we can just copy this data here. We have data in Microsoft Excel. Therefore, this is what I have. And you will notice that this one is not calculated. And therefore, the system will automatically calculate this for us. Therefore, let's just go to Microsoft Access and paste that one. Therefore, once we paste that one, ladies and gentlemen, you will notice that Microsoft Access has automatically calculated this. And to prove that this is not a scam, let's just add three products. Like now, we can just add grams. Then we have bought 12 at, uh, let's say, 70. There we are. Therefore, you can see this one has automatically calculated itself. We can add bread. Bread. Let's say this guy has bought nine bread breads at 55. There we are. Therefore, you can see that this one is automatically calculated once the two operands are given. Therefore, once the two operands are given, the operation is done. Therefore, let's go to another example. Therefore, just cross this one. Just go to another example. We go to create, then table design. This time round, I want us to use student fees and calculate the balance. If we can just have registration number of the student, then the student name, then we can have fees payable fees payable then you can also have fees paid this is the amount the student has already paid and then the fees balance fees balance that way therefore this this is currency this is currency but this one you don't first of all assign the data type you just uh, assign the just choose calculated field therefore you just go to calculated field then in this uh, this dialog box here you just go to this is uh, equals to fees payable fees payable minus fees paid spelling must be correct therefore it is fees payable minus fees paid that is our balance then from there you just hit on ok Therefore, you notice that this field of ours is calculated. So if I, I save that one, just escape. If I click on outside here, and first of all, before I save, 
let's just insert another field there you can just call it serial number serial number then this is auto number this is auto number so that you can put it as the primary key for that case therefore then you save this is fees fees table that way now uh, again ladies and gentlemen let's just go to microsoft exo and then have this one copied therefore you will notice that fees is not calculated the fees is blank and therefore you want the system to calculate that one for us therefore you just uh, just copy this just copy and go to access then double click double click this and then paste paste there therefore you notice that automatically microsoft access will calculate the balance for you will calculate the balance for you like for instance just to prove that uh, this is working let's just go to add another student 1300 then then this one is boniface then this guy has paid now he's supposed to pay 9k you see now automatically if he has not paid anything any amount he has a balance of nine you can also add the last guy here just to prove that our system is all right that we can have bernard king then this guy is supposed to pay this and has paid nine thousand therefore you notice that it has put bracket to show you that this is an overpayment therefore this is how you perform calculations in microsoft uh, access tables remember you can also do complex calculations like uh, <coughs> like a pmt version you can also do very complicated calculations in fact using the that procedure that i have taken you through and therefore ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching see you in my next session